In this video, we are going to see how we can run the proxy server that can give us a rotating proxy. So that means when we request a prox uh, IP address from the proxy, it will give us a new IP address instead of the same. Uh, previously, I have shown you how we can use the Tor network to create a proxy and get an IP address from that proxy server. So instead of that, we are going to run the create rotating proxy server that will be very impossible to locate the actual ip address of the client so this proxy server will be rotating proxy server so for that purpose we are going to use the docker docker is a container uh, technology that can allow us to run the container on windows mac or linux machine so uh, if you don't know how to install docker just google install docker and you will get to know like downloads and everything will be running so i have the docker version that's like 2402 so now let's start with like uh, how we can create the rotating proxy server for that purpose i'm going to share this url actually inside the description but uh, let's go to the github and just type this url and this is the image that already created by some uh by mats for us to create the rotating proxy so let's pull that image in the docker and let's see if you don't know uh, how the docker look like i can uh, give some more information there before that let's start pulling the this image and paste this uh, it will take some times to pull this uh, image from the internet actually so as per the your uh, download speed it will take some time so if you have installed the docker inside uh, inside the windows so this is uh, how you will get the docker cmd as well as docker ui so if you check the ui this is how it look like you can check the container you can have the images as of now I don't have any images, so we are pulling the image. So once it get downloaded, we will have the image available here. So from the image, we can create the any number of container, and container is actually just same as the virtual machine running from that image. And running the container from image is very lightweighted, so it's getting a lot of uh, traction actually from recently. So this is a Docker technology now it's uh, just downloading it will take some more time so uh, let's check the documentation again so how what it does actually so instead of running the one tor uh, client so this image try to run the multiple tor client behind uh, like inside the docker container and it create a one proxy that is a ha proxy that can communicate through the client to the actually those to our client uh, to our uh, running processes and this create the bridge between that that also has a load balancing so when you try to request the ip address from this proxy actually it uh, connect with any of the running tor client and gives us that proxy address actually ip address that can be used uh, to re like uh, connect with any server so server instead of getting the actual IP address it will get you the tor network IP address so this is how it work now it's like uh, almost uh, completing the download after this once we have this image we can create the container out of it so this is a container run command so uh, that is like a docker run dash t and uh, that is means like background process and the expose the port so this port will be like a host port to the external or like uh, that uh, container port and uh, it will run the almost 25 tors uh, behind it and it create the uh, from this image so this is how command we will just check it very soon so we have the image full so either you can run from the command line from here or you can even run from container from the ui as well so you see this is the image so if you can directly run from here or you can uh, just run from command line so let's try from command line as uh, it's given here 
Uh, so let's copy this and just paste it here and it try to expose the 5566 port on a 5566 of the host and same as this and let's uh, do it so it has uh, created the container this is the hash for this container and you can see this is the container just started here actually and uh, if you want to give the name up actually like the uh, some meaningful name uh, to the container you can give it uh, if not it's create the auto uh, name actually here so let's see this uh, container running so we might see the logs here actually uh, that can be printed with this container so now uh, let's try to uh, send the request from this proxy so let's see this is the endpoint that can give us uh, uh, our ip address so i'm just trying to hit this endpoint with the curl request now so we can see like which ip address we get uh, for this so sorry i just need to copy it copy it and so we probably will get like a, some IP address and um, that's coming from uh, uh, somewhere in the world actually, not the actual uh, IP address. So let's say uh, first request takes some time because it has to initiate those torque uh, clients and just allow us to connect. So uh, actually it says like uh, not connecting. There might be some problem as of now. So you see this is the logs. It's printing. Uh, still, it's failing. Uh, let me restart the uh, container again. Okay, uh, I have to restart this container actually. So, if you want to restart, you can restart from here uh, just to get it running. And now we, uh, you can see here uh, if I hit, I get the some IP address. Uh, this is a like a new IP address for every request. So you can check this here. And uh, actually this runs the almost 25 torque line behind the uh, screen inside the container. And uh, this uh, gives me random like a rotating IP address. So, and these, uh, uh, those torque line actually it gets uh, terminated and recreated again in between. So we should not uh, how the like same IP address actually in the circle. If I check the information of those IP address, you can just try uh, IP configure and you can see this is coming from Berlin and uh, this is the host name for it actually. So this is coming from the Tor network. So now you can use this uh, uh, proxy server to have the IP address that is rotating one. So this is how we can actually create a rotating proxy that can uh, allow you to get the new IP address to uh, like actually browse or maybe send some request to the server that's uh, that will be impossible to track. So thank you for uh, watching this and if you like, please like the video, uh, subscribe and comment it. Actually, you, you just see this, uh, this is created the new uh, torque line. So you just dispose this uh, old one and just create the new one. So you will get the another kind of sets of uh, IP addresses. So you see this is the another sets of IP address. So if I let check this info again, I think it's probably something very different from the older one now. So let's check. So how what it coming from? It's coming from X I, I, Amsterdam now instead of like the berlin so this is how you will get the rotating ip so thank you for watching have a nice learning